Okay guys, here we go for another Friday Night Nine Ball. Um, we're just joining this match right at the start. It's on the one loss side. And uh, Gary B is playing Dizzle. And it's a race to five. Um, it's still a handicap, remember. And in this case, Gary B, eh, sorry, Dizzle is getting two racks in this race to five and that's a tough ass for Gary Gary's from the United States and Dizzle let's have a look at the bracket, Dizzle I think is from the, the UK so if we look at the bracket this is a one loss side and that's the match we're looking at here and there's still quite a ways to go in the tournament we've got Larry who's waiting on his next opponent, that'll be the winner between Bill, Mr. Bill and Gunnett, that match is still going on. Uh, Gunnett was getting four racks, he's leading by six racks to four, so Bill's got to win the three remaining racks to sneak through that match, but in the time being we'll keep our eye on this match. And that was a, a bad miss there. It was a tight cut, but uh, he should perhaps have got that one. So the problem ball's going to be the 7 and the 9. Seven's tied up there. And Dizzle has, well, he solved one problem and created another there. He didn't really get on the 2. But he split the seven and the nine, but he's just now tied the six up with the nine. So he just runs for cover, plays the right shot, and that looks pretty good. And I think Gary can see enough of the edge of this too, just to try and hide behind this nine and six here. Let's have a look. I think he just hit it a bit too hard, yep, and he set up the combo for the two and the three, and Dizzle has to be thinking already how he's going to uh, move this six and nine, if he's going to win this rack here, but having said that, he failed in the combo, and he's set up a billiard here for uh, Ga um, Gary. The two is going to bank back up the table past the eight ball, I would think. How's his luck? Well, it might be quite good in terms of splitting the six and nine. And now, let's have a quick look at that one. Well, he's got no shot, really. So he's going to have to be wise here. tried desperately to make that combo and I think um, the problem was I don't think he could really see enough of the two um, and that might be an unfavourable outcome here if he can bank this well Dizzle's failed the bank and Gary shouldn't have a problem getting on the four it's just a straightforward draw shot here plenty of room to manoeuvre Well, that was not a good shot. But he's managed to dig himself out a hole, got the swerve on the cue ball there, and uh, got the cut on the four, but he certainly shouldn't have been leaving himself in that position, he's still got to pull out another good shot here in this six ball and that's a nice pace and he's now in control he 
can just drop this seven in dead ball, a uh, dead weight, or just kill it, whatever he prefers. He's got the wrong side of the eight, but again, he's got plenty of room to manoeuvre here. No reason why he can't get on this nine comfortably. And it's spinning off the rails and coming round nice. So Gary gets his first rack on the board, still trails by two racks to one, and remember it's only a race to five in this one lost side, and he gets a four ball in, in the top right hand corner, one ball's hanging over the same pocket and he's he can see it, so let's see if Gary can run this rack. And looking at the lay of the balls, absolutely no excuse not to run this rack. He's got to be careful here because if he's going to let the cue ball run, there's blocking balls in the way here. And that's what I said blocking balls. And he's can he see enough of that? I think he's going to have to. He's going to have to put a wee bit of side on that to make the potting angle in this three and even then he's going to have to cheat the pocket I think. Well, well that was a great shot. Pulled that one out of the bag there. But he, again he shouldn't have left himself in that position. The obvious problem was going to be that if he played that a sort of roll shot that if he didn't get the right pace something was going to block it either the six or the nine. Well, he's focusing so much on getting onto the six here, he forgot about the five. You don't want to be making mistakes like that against a player like Dizzle, because he will just walk all over you. And things can go wrong playing these long combo shots. You've got to play it dead weight, but where's the six going? And that's the problem. And I certainly don't fancy Gary's next shot. Dizzle will just bury this cue ball right onto that nine. And I think it's too close to try any sort of jump shot here I think so he's going to have to kick at it and just hope he gets lucky well no luck at all and I think this will be meat and drink for Dizzle So, Dizzle gets his two rack lead again, he goes into a 3-1 lead, with the break of course, it's winner's break, uh, winner break, sorry. Oh well, I think this rack might be over fairly quickly as well, because I think the two and the three have gone in, and look where the nine ball is. This is still not not easy. Well, he's got the one and just needs to roll the four down onto the nine and that's a very quick rack to win. 
I don't think he'll be trying to run the rack. I think he'll take the simple option. So, as quick as a blink of the eye, Bizzle goes straight into a poor one. Lead is on the hill, and Gary's back is right against the wall. But there's nothing you can do about that. That's the way the game is. And when you're also watching your opponent get balls in the break, and also getting a shot on the one ball, has he? Let's have a look. No, nope. that's way too tight. That won't go past the six. So that might be, it might be Gary's lifeline here. Well, Dizzle would want to play that one again because he, he hasn't got the cover. And Gary's got a fairly easy safety here. Well, he'll regret that. He went for the bank, I think. And um, he's hung it up over the middle pocket. Now, does that two go past the seven? Yes, it does. It's tight, but it does go... This is a, a bit, it's a bit straight, there's a slight angle, but I would, I would reckon that uh, this will just gonna roll through slightly and leave this five into the top left hand corner. Can't imagine what to go right through, no, that's, that's the right shot. Again, he just needs to, well he's got a choice, he can either follow through with the cue ball or just stop it there. Whichever he prefers. He certainly wants a nice angle in the six to get the cue ball comfortably over for the seven and play it from the rail, which he has done. The cue ball will come over nicely to the right hand side of the table. He needs to be careful though he doesn't go in off. So he shouldn't be playing this any more weight than he needs to just to get past that eight ball. Well, He's went the other way, he's just played it dead weight so he can take it into the corner from the top end or the bottom end as we look. So now just getting up and getting a shot down the rail for this nine and that will seal the match. But this is fairly tight to the rail so he's just got to get this clean. And Dizzle wins the match by five racks to one. And let's see what that makes to the brackets of what difference it makes. Well, we've got Dizzle who's sitting there waiting on the winner of the Coyote and Gunnet match. Meanwhile, while we were watching that match, let's have a look over here. We've got Larry, if I can get the bracket to stay where it is. We've got Larry and Bill playing and that match is underway. Larry's getting one rack and he currently leads by two racks to one. So let's just use the bracket and go straight into that match and see what's happening. Well, Larry's at the table. and looks to be in a very good position to win this rack as we watch. So on the winner's side, it's a race to seven. And 
that he's just finished the wrong side of the eight but it shouldn't be a problem he's just put a wee bit of uh, right hand english on it just to kick the cue ball down towards the nine off the side railing back out and down and that's that's perfect just needs to roll it in So, Larry's going into a three racks to one lead with the break. Now, in an instance like that, Larry's gone into the three one lead. He's had a dry break, and Bill's been left on the one ball. So, this is this has got the pressure on Bill because he really needs to run this rack, and Bill knows it because he doesn't want to be trailing by four racks to one at the end of this visit. He needs to get himself onto this board and keep up with Larry. Now this is the danger shot. He's got to be careful. It's easy just to come off this four and onto the side rail and down for the nine. He stunned it down. And the problem there is I think he's gone too straight. Let's have a look. Well, he can easily steal an angle for that. That's okay. Well, we can see where the crucial shot is going to be to get an angle on this 8 so you can comfortably come up for the 9. And that isn't ideal. There is a slight angle there, but he's going to have to force the, the pace in this to get it down. And that's worked out okay. So, well, the question's been asked and Bill's came up with the goods in this rack. Done what you need to do. And he's just trailing by the odd rack now. We're into the sixth rack. Bill, of course, breaking. And how's his luck? Not good, I think. Well, we might be looking at the end, re the same result here, but only this time in Larry's favour, because Larry's got a shot in the one. And there's a bit of traffic that he's got to avoid to somehow get onto this too. And this is going to need a wee bit of luck, I think. Because he's digging down to, to draw across a bit. And that sent the one ball offline. And same problem for Bill. Bill should, you know, pot the one ball no problem, but he's He's got to come off the top. Well, he's went the other way. And I think that the uh, the cut into the middle was the easier one. And he'd a bigger margin of error to get on that two ball as well. So look, well, no shot in the two, so I would imagine he's going to try and just top the cue ball. Yeah, he's tucked it in behind the seven. And the two is very adjacent to the six. And I think Bill already is lining up to try and jump out of this. Well, he got the hit and he's also got it safe. Pretty much, I think that's like a full ball snooker, is it? Well, yeah. Larry will try and spin round it. Kick it off the end rail. Well, he's actually he's actually hit that far too good. I couldn't believe he could, he could go right round that four ball. Uh, 
Larry will be surprised at that as well. He played it. He played it far too good. But anyway, Bill's back at the table, cue ball in hand. Set a nice angle on the two to get on the three. And now I think Bill's going to have to draw away from this three to avoid colliding with the eight and the five. And has he got a shot in the four? Yep. And he should be able to draw this and get onto the five one way or another. Now, again, he doesn't want to try and do too much with the cue ball here. And this is going to be the the game shot here if he gets this uh, six and comes back up for that seven. So just come up past the middle pocket. And that's fine. Should be easy street now for this rack. just needs to drop the nine into the middle and the match is all square again so it's now three racks all how is he locking the break this time Bill? and I think his answer would be same as usual, nothing spinning the cue ball there, spun it past the 8, let's try to use it for cover. Once again, Bill's destiny in this rack is in his own hands, the balls are all sitting there wide open. Let's look at that angle there well he, he can actually just draw to the to the right here and he's got the four ball into that middle as we look in the left hand side well maybe the angle wasn't that good because this isn't perfect in the four that needs to keep running well he's in no man's land here I'd be running for cover Get that cue ball and that five ball as far apart as possible and don't try anything ambitious. Well, that's fairly safe. I can't imagine Larry's going to try and cut this in. Well, you just never know, don't you? He's got the cut, and not only that, he's brought the cue ball back across, and he's perfect on this six. Well, that all stemmed down from getting from that six to the... I can't remember now what ball was it better or getting what was it the four ball into the middle and just at entirely the wrong angle. But anyway, Larry's done the business and he goes back into a four racks to three lead. And yet another dry break. And I think each time each player has had a dry break, the others came to the table with a with a shot in the one ball. I don't know how uh, 
Oh, well, that was a good shot because I didn't think that uh, that one ball would go past here, but it did. Once again, Bill failed the first time round and running the rack. How's he's going to handle this one? I don't know, but again, the balls are sitting perfect. He just does not want to collide with that eight ball, whatever he does. Yeah, plenty of room to get round it. Yeah. Right hand English, check it back across. But once again, he's the wrong side of the seven. He didn't come back far enough. So the cue ball's going to be running. Or is he just going to drop it in? Yeah, he's dropped it in and checked the cue ball off the side rail to stop it running. And this is a crucial one. Getting from this eight down to the nine. Oh dear, what's happened? Well, that's what's in his favour. Cue ball catching the knuckle of the jaw there and luckily it punched it across and gave Bill a fairly simple nine ball and the match is all square again. Four racks all and Bill trying once again to get a ball and a break and this time the three ball gets kicked into the left middle and I don't think he's got a, any real shot in this one. Well, he could try a, a cut. Yeah, well, he has, and that's all gone wrong. And not only that, the cue ball's running down nicely. Give uh, Larry an easy start. Put this one cue ball off the left side rail back across towards that right middle pocket. And it's going fairly close. Just draw the cue ball back an inch. Or just stun it out. He's on this four, no problem. And this is all about pace of shot as well. If he's going to try and draw this back for the five. I don't know what the angle's like in the four. Let's have a look. Well, it's fairly straight, so that should be what he's trying to do. He's just under hit it slightly, but he's given himself a nice angle to come off that end rail and round the corner and out for this uh, six into the same pocket that the five's gone into it needs to run, it needs to go well he's got a potting angle and the cue ball's going to again come off this side rail and back out for this seven doesn't really need to do an awful lot with the cue ball. Just focus on the pot here. He's overdone it, has he? No, it's just going in off the jaw. But he's left it a bit short, so it's a little tester to cut this one back into the middle. But again, the cue ball is going to run round. He just needs to avoid hitting the nine. It's going to be fairly close to it I would think if he just pots this plain ball well that's worked out fine you just get away from the side rail though that limits his ability to get good control over this cue ball to get from this 8 to the 9 and it's a tough ask I think he's going to have plenty of top on it and plenty of spin spin this cue ball round the angles and I would think try and come down to the left hand side of the nine as we look at it. But it's got to get an awful amount of movement in the cue ball. Well, he's thought he's thought different and decided, well, rather than trying the ambitious positional shot, leave the long cut. And this is a tough one. Uh, 
and it's in dead centre of the pocket. And Larry's back into the lead, five racks to four, and I think we've well we've saw one ball in the break. I think that was like uh, a drop in the ocean. That that uh, ball that we saw going in the break because we've had nothing before nor since. Bill's got the cover on the three, but so it's just an easy kick to get this one ball. Oh, not only that, he's got lucky. Landed the cue ball in behind the nine. And I don't, there's not any angle there to kick at this one ball. So whatever he's going to do, he's going to have to manufacture something. And he doesn't really have much room to manoeuvre, so... This is a real tough one to hit, so rather than do that, Bill played the deliberate uh, foul, but he's not really accomplished anything doing it because he's not tied anything up there. And he's, if anything, he's just set the two ball up over the right-hand uh, corner. And Larry will just drop the one ball into the middle, drop the two ball into the corner, and... If he gets the right angle on this three, he can drop in behind the four on the side rail. Just by the well, that's all gone wrong. Larry's again completely lost focus there, concentrating on where the cue ball was going to go on this two. And Bill, having said that, although he's comboed the the one on the two, I don't think he's got a shot in the one. Nope. Nothing but just uh, the safety. So now this is going to be a bit of uh, ducking and diving going on because we've got the four and the seven ball tied up the right rail. Now Larry, I'm going to try and kick this. That's worked out pretty well. And that's not only achieved that, but the seven and the four are now split apart. Larry's got to kick again. And this time, he got the hit, but nothing's touched the rail, so it's ball in hand to uh, Mr. Bill. Well, is he looking at the combo in the nine? Yeah, he gets it. So that's quickly solved that problem. And the match is all square again. And I think something flew in off the break that time. I think it could be one of the wing balls has gone in. And it was the five ball. And I don't think he's going to have any shot in the two here. I think he might try a wee clever thin edge off the two. Try and tuck the cue ball in behind those balls that are down there. Nope, he's went for the cut. Well, it's always wiser, or it's easy to be wiser after the shot, but certainly I wouldn't have been going for that too. I'd have been playing the safety. Now what does Larry do? I would think he should have a good old bang at this three onto the nine. There's no no reason why he shouldn't. Well, 
that's fine. He's got it safe. That's all that matters. And this time, Bill's got an angle to get the cue ball as far away from the three as he could, but he didn't. And that's really given the initiative to Larry here, because I think Larry might be able to do it. Just tuck this three back down onto the end rail. No, nope, he's content to stay up this end as well. But there's good cover up in that far corner. But anyway, Larry was more comfortable doing what he did, and he's got a full ball snooker. Well, is that is that going to be the bit of luck the Bill needs? He's managed to kick the three in, but got no joy getting on to the four. How much of that four can you see? Can you see any of it? just an edge of it oh dear well that's not what he wanted Larry scratched giving ball in hand to Mr Bill an easy four ball just stun the cue ball down the table here to go into this six no, he's digging down. And he's overdone it. Well, to me, the simpler shot with a bigger margin of error was the stun. Just punch that uh, six ball in. Eh, sorry, the four ball. I think it was a four. I'm forgetting now. I'm getting tired. But anyway, that would have been a shot that had a much wider margin of error than the one that he played there, because that was all about trying to judge the pace, especially when you're spinning back in the cue ball. makes it a much, much tougher uh, positional shot to judge. And Larry jumps to safety. That works out pretty good. Now, if Bill can see an edge of this six, I have no doubt in my mind he'll be going for the cut. Because the cue ball's naturally going to come off the end rail and back up. But he's decided to play the safety, which is the right shot to do. And he's got full cover. That's excellent. Well, Larry tried his best to get the edge of that six because there was a good chance he could have tucked it along the rail there and potted it, but he's completely missed it. And it's a gilt edge opportunity here for Bill. And the only way this will go wrong is if he totally fluffs up this six and blinds himself behind the eight, but he's left it fine. Now, what sort of shot does he play here? Well, just run the cue ball through with a bit of left-hand English and it'll punch up for the eight, but he's not got enough on it. That's not the shot he played. And this isn't perfect. And he's totally made a balls of that. And that's a gift for Larry. Well, no, it's not so much a gift because he couldn't see it. He had to swerve round it. And that was a good shot. And not a simple nine either. But in it goes, and that takes Larry on to six and just one away from victory. And that will take him to the hot seat. And yet again, absolutely no luck at all in the break. And once again, Bill's sitting on the win ball.
an easy two to follow, an easy three after that. The four going into the same pocket as the two ball in a minute or two's time. So the problem I can see is getting from the four onto the five. And immediately he's now far too straight on this three, and this is where he's going to have to avoid hitting any of those balls there while he's checked the cue ball up and steered well clear of the seven and the nine and the five. And this is the problem. He's got a big distance between the cue ball and the four, and he's also got to control the spin to come down for this five. And he's not getting to the cue ball enough. So he's really got no shot. And he doesn't want to get desperate and try a silly cut in this five, which I think he's probably going to do. Well, if you're going to miss it, miss it like that because that way he's overcut it and the cue ball has come back eh, sorry the five has come back across now is there a space between that seven yes there is goodness me you can get the edge of that five he can cut this in well i think that could be potted but he's he got it too thin and Bill's got to ride his luck here because this five's right in the corner. And he's managed to just catch the edge of it to try and get the cue ball out somewhere to get a shot in the six. And this is simple. He, he just needs to drop the six in and, and kill the cue ball. Because he's going to leave an angle in this seven to come up for the, the eight. This should be simple. And the pressure's on here for Bill, because he knows it's all about getting from this 8 back up for the 9. Needs to get away from the rail. And perfect angle, just to come off the top rail and send the cue ball down this right hand side. And that needed another, probably another 6 or 7 inches on it to make it really comfortable. But in it goes, and the match is tied up. It's Hill Hill, final rack decider, Bill breaking, and he needs a ball in the break. Well, were we ever in doubt? Absolutely nothing again. And yet again, this time it's Larry who's coming to the table, all the balls in the open, sitting here with an easy one to start. Cue ball back up between the 9 and the 6, I would think. Or is he going to try and get round right round behind? Yeah, he's overhit it though. He's overdone it. And he's got to chance his luck here and getting on this 3. Cause the cue ball looks very likely to hit something here unless he. He spins and checks it with inside English. Well, he couldn't avoid the six. But that six has done him a, a great favour. It's just punched him right over for the three. Well, let's look at where the cue ball went. That was him trying to get on the four and he's overhit it, sent the cue ball in the pocket and out. And Larry is now looking at Bill, sitting here with ball in hand. And he's put it dead behind the four to roll up here to get onto this five. Well, he's going to have to punch this in because he's finished two straight on the five. Oh, now that could have went disastrously wrong there. But the double kiss has done him a real favour.
Now, Bill needs to get this cue ball up in the middle pocket. And he's left it short. So now, he's got the choice here of getting this 7 and sending the cue ball over to the right when it comes down the table. So he's got a shot on this 8. And that looks perfect. Let's look at it from this angle. Yes, it can just roll through. Off the end rail, side rail and back out for the 9. And that's perfect. So the mistake was made by Larry. He overpowered that shot. Trying to get the cue ball around the table. And that's given Bill the match. And Ma uh, Bill clears up to win the match by 7 racks to 6. So Larry now... If we just have a quick look at the bracket, Larry now goes over to the one loss side. So he's um, now going to be playing Dizzle to see who now is going to meet Bill in tonight's final.